you know, memory adds a certain sheen to things. Uh, it makes it more dramatic than perhaps it was. Makes it more important. Maybe it is very important. Anyway, these are two poems about memory and the way it gets um, inveigled into, into life. The Wall of the Future You have been living too long and have so many years left to do it. You take living for granted as you do among the furniture of the future. You have time to reminisce about a lengthy and distant past for which you are forgiven and still have time to look deep ahead into the years. You are all doing verbs, planning verbs, and things we all know to exist, nothing too small or too far away. Macro in the world, magnifying glass is as far as you'll go. You won't know what to do when it's all gone, the planning shrinks and time shrivels. You make me recall Anne Clark. I'm glad to have met you even a little bit and wonder what if we had met in the summer among the trees and talked. What would it mean to consume you hour after hour and feel what you think of me take you in, travel your paths? I remember bundles of laughter surrounded by flesh mysteries becoming charms, then vanishing as the picnic ended, moving away. I called after them. I chased fantasies of them, the summer, the picnics, the mischief much like yours.